What's going on guys, it's Ultimoose here, and I'm bringing you another Monday random commentary. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this video, and uh, I'm going to be talking about the uh, new map packs that came out for Modern Warfare 3, and what I hope for in the future for DLC for Modern Warfare 3, and in future Call of Duties as well. So uh, to start it off, I think uh, this is Decommission, I believe, and uh, it's not a bad map, but it's definitely an odd map. I'm not really sure what the, what the you know, correct route routes to run on this map are. I mean, I've played it about five times, so I probably would have picked up on some things. Um, there's not much flow to the map. It's pretty much just randomness and people wanting to go wherever they want to go. And this is about a week after the maps came out, because it came out on Tuesday, and now it's Monday, obviously. And, uh, you know, I definitely haven't figured out any really <laughs> big strategy on this map, and I don't know if anyone else has, because it's just seeming like a... Uh, almost like a random run around map and uh it's kind of difficult to dis uh, discern what to actually to do on this map uh as for offshore i'd say about the same thing there's not really any you know real distinctive place to go on the map like there are on many other maps like i mean one thing that just calls to mind is a uh, hard hat and mission you both go right to the you know on mid on hard hat you got the uh the pipe that everybody pretty much just runs right to or kind of navigates around because everyone's there and uh same on mission you know the b flag on domination is pretty much where everyone always is because the high action area high traffic and uh i don't know on decommission and offshore i've been having trouble figuring out where to you know find <laughs> find a lot of people but uh moving on from that uh, the, uh as well they released terminal with these two maps um i was not very impressed with terminal i liked it a lot in modern warfare 2 but so far in Modern Warfare 3, I'm not really sure if it's because it's in a different game or something like that, but I just have not been having fun with it. Uh, I really wanted to get a gameplay for you guys of it, but to be honest, <laughs> the best gameplay I had was probably maybe a 1.5 KD, and uh, that's not really something I want to post on my channel because it doesn't seem to be very good. <laughs> but um, I don't know, I was kind of disappointed in Terminal, and uh, I'm not really sure why, to be honest. I, I know I'm saying this, and I don't really have a good reason, but... I guess it's just because I've been doing pretty bad on it, and uh, I guess it's kind of a reason why some people dislike certain things over others. But um, yeah, so we'll move on to uh, the Spec Ops mission released, and I actually did play it. Uh, there will be a tutorial coming up on Thursday for you guys. It's called Vertigo, and uh, I actually was pretty impressed with the uh, with the Spec Ops mission. It was pretty fun. Um, it was actually one that I enjoyed to play, <laughs> other, unlike some of the other ones that are actually really stale and pretty much just like run through the building, kill this one guy, whatever. Uh this is actually something that, you know, was pretty fun and that you had different gameplay experiences. If you have played it already then you know what I'm talking about. If not, you can definitely watch that Thursday video on the Spec Ops tutorials and you'll hopefully learn something from it. Um so that was pretty much the DLC that was released this month. Um as for next month, I was looking on the content calendar. There are two Spec Ops missions coming out and a Classified DLC. Now, I know we said Classified was coming out before, and uh, it turned out to be more Spec Ops missions, and that actually was not the Classified DLC, because uh, Mark Rubin actually said that the content calendar before, I don't know, I would say middle July was not updated, and that the Classified DLC should not have been expected for May, I believe, is when it was originally supposed to come out. And, uh, but now, oh, look at this fail. I don't know how I didn't kill that guy. Um, but he originally, I mean, now he says, or he said on Twitter that the DLC content is updated and it should be good to go now. And I was looking and it said there was going to be a classified for August. So I'm pretty, pretty excited for that, uh, now that it's actually updated and we know for sure that we're going to be getting a classified DLC. Uh, I'll be interested to see what it is. If you guys have any ideas on what you think it might be, um, definitely leave that in the comment box below. I was thinking maybe either a gun DLC, um, weapon DLC, or, uh, or wait, that's the same thing. <laughs> um, gun DLC, or maybe camos. I was thinking I would be pretty disappointed in camos, just because I think it's not worth anything, to be honest. I didn't pay for Call of Duty Elite, so I get camos. It doesn't make any sense. And, uh, I don't know. I wasn't very excited to hear that possibility cross my mind, if you know what I mean. Um, yeah, that's about everything that I've got for this commentary. Um, hopefully the new DLC is actually pretty good. Decommission and Offshore, I'd probably give them, 
I don't know, a C rating. They're not the best maps, but they're also not the worst. Uh, they're no downturn. <laughs> and if they come up in a lobby, I would definitely be glad to play them because they are fairly fun. It's just a little bit chaos or chaotic, I guess. And uh, it's kind of hard to navigate your way around the map, in my opinion. Um, so that's pretty much all I got for you guys. Once again, I was kind of disappointed in Terminal. Uh, and they have a new DLC coming next month with two Spec Ops tutorial or two Spec Ops missions and uh, one classified DLC. So post in the comments what you guys think that classified DLC is going to be. And uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.